Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Album Review Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ozzy Osbourne and his 2007 release, Black Rain. Alright, so this is Ozzy's ninth studio album as a solo artist. It features Zach Wilde from Black Label Society on guitar. Um, it's a very, and Zach does a great job, it's a, it's a hard shredding, um, just, it's a hard shredding album guitar wise. It's a cla classic Ozzy Osbourne album, I would say, a hard rock with a, with a great metal sound. Um, to me, however, the album did sound a little mainstream at first, um, with the first couple tracks. Um, like like Ozzy was trying to trying to make the album radio friendly, um, just to appease you know maybe management or whatever. But as you get deeper in the album and once you listen to it, you'll understand. Um, there's definitely not. There's a lot of just proving the haters wrong. An example of this would be not going away, and I don't want to stop. Um, and the uh, and basically, there's a lot of just expressing his own opinions about world issues, and then venting is venting about his personal issues and talking about his personal issues for sure. Um, it's a great overall album. Um, you know, hard rock. All the haters that say it, w it wasn't any good, I don't know where they get that from because if if you like Ozzy, if you like Black Sabbath, you will. It's a continuation. You will like the album. Alright, what I'll do, I'm just going to go through the tracks real fast, there are 10 of them, and then just give you my overall impressions, and then the meanings behind them as well. Alright, so the first track here would be uh, Not Going Away. This song is to the haters, as I said before. It's where Ozzy basically says he wants to perform until he is physically unable to. And I think it's great that he wants to do this. Um, as a lot of you guys know, Black Sabbath is going to release an album hopefully next year. I, I haven't really heard much about it. I don't know when it is going to exactly be. I think they're in the process of recording it now. But um, regardless, this the, just the fact that he did Black Sabbath, went solo for a while, and still is partly solo, and he's going to go do a little bit of Black Sabbath. Hopefully we'll tour again, do Ozfest again, because I had the pleasure of seeing him, and it was just excellent. Um, hopefully he does it again, like I said. And it's a great song. I It's just overpowering and just... Basically, big screw you to the haters. All right, the second song is a, "I Don't Want to Stop." It's basically the same thing. It, it, it is where Ozzy explains that he doesn't want to stop performing and playing music. I love the riffs to it. It's the first song I actually heard off the album. It was on Madden 08 when I was playing it, and it's also been featured in um, WWE Judgment Day, the just the event. Um, it's also also the first Ozzy song. This is very hard to believe. First Ozzy song to ever reach number one on the mainstream rock charts. If you think about it, that's that's quite amazing considering he was obviously in Black Sabbath, um, who's now has been solo for many many years, uh, since 1980 I believe, and then is now, um, you know, this 2007 album. So it's a great. This is a great song for that to happen though. Hard rock in your face for sure. Um, I would definitely, if you don't like this album, I would definitely recommend just this song. All right, the uh, third the third track here is Black Rain, and it definitely has elements of Black Sabbath for sure. Spooky riffs and the, the the sudden change of tempo a little bit. Um, it talks about the Iraq War and how Ozzy just how he opposes it and just feels that it was motivated by oil. And if you know you watch documentaries about it where people say, "Oh, this war was motivated by um, George W. Bush Jr." I guess and you know and because he wanted to finish the, the he wanted to go and finish his father's business his father's unfinished business with Saddam Hussein and that's basically what Izzy I think is interpreting here that's, a, that's exactly what he feels um, interesting song for sure very very uh, I, I, it's a very good song all right the uh, fourth song here is lay your world on me um, it's a different kind of Izzy song very ca very calm I love the taps drum beat for sure um, just did very different from you know anything. Um, it's very catchy. It has a very deep meaning. Um, it's about Ozzy was when he found out Sharon had breast cancer, wanting to take the pressure off of her and you know just have part of that burden so she wouldn't feel as stressed out and she could be happy. And this just this shows how much he loves her, and I just love it about it. And to still to this day, obviously they're still they're still kicking it. They're still they're still married. So. Things are obviously doing all right. All right, the fifth song here is the Almighty Dollar, and I love it. It's it's catchy vocals for sure. One of my probably my second favorite song on the album, definitely. Um, this song basically talks about um, the the entire world's problems. It just says m money is the main thing. 
Um, whereas we've heard it starts, money is the root of all evil. It starts wars, conflicts, pollutes the earth in a sense just because anything you do costs money and you can't get anything for free. You just, it's what the, you know, what the saying is, you can't get a lunch for free, you know, whatever. Um, it's, it's definitely a good song and it, it's the truth. Um, it, a, a, a lyric that kind of comes out to me is, is rape, steal, and murder. God bless the almighty dollar. Meaning, anything is going to cost you money. I, you know, I guess that's a bad way of putting it, but it's just, it's an interesting lyric to me stuck out and I'm not exactly sure what the meaning is, but, you know, it's a great, great, uh, was great, I don't know the meaning of that line, sorry. Um, I love the great guitar work and the great bass work for sure. All right, the um, sixth song here is 11, 11 Silver, and basically, I thought it was an instrumental track at first, because there's a long instrumental in intro. But when Ozzy got to singing, um, I just fell in love with the entire track. It, I love, I love the, the drums, it really drawed me in. Um, it's very personal, kind of uplifting. It's about Ozzy's former drug addiction. And if you guys have seen my other reviews, Motley Crue, um, the the Dirt book, and Ozzy's in there and is is snorting cocaine and all these drugs out of pu in public places. And this is kind of you know he's he's grown up now, obviously, um, and just is a song about that. And it's very very uplifting, as I said before. Um, I love the chance in the background. If you, if you listen to it all the way through, you will hear that. It just adds a nice touch to it, for sure. All right, the uh, seventh song here, Civilize the Universe, is very catchy. Um, I think it's a call out to the, to the U.S. from Ozzy and from a lot of other celebrities that have kind of done this and people in nor you know everyday citizens like myself basically talking about to the U.S. Why do we have to police the world? And that's just the burning question of this song. It's... It just talks about you know, basically getting screwed over is what the motto of this song is, and a lot of what people, like I said, people have been asking that for years. Why are we going to foreign countries and trying to promote democracy, and when maybe they don't want it? And you know, this is it just brings attention to this issue, and I think it's a it's a very well written song, very catchy as I said before. All right, the um, eighth song is here is here for you. Um, it's another beautiful song dedicated to Sharon. Um, I love the piano and the calmness, again. Very strange for an Ozzy song, um, at least from what I've heard. Um, and like I said, this, this song was written for Sharon when when Ozzy found out she had colon cancer. And it's very, like I said, another beautiful, beautiful song. All right, the um, ninth song here is Countdown's Begun. And originally when I did this review on Friday, it was kind of creepy because... The world was supposed to end, and if you guys believe that or not, you know a lot of people obviously has a date. You're not gonna believe it. Um, you know, it's kind of, it was kind of creepy. It, very good song, very good rock song. Um, it's about the world ending, obviously, either from Armageddon or war. Um, basically, what you should do before you die, and just all this stuff. I love the rock and the hard. It's a hard rock feel. The drums, the guitar opening. I just love the whole song. Very intense. All right, and the tenth song here is uh, finally Trap Door. Um, it's an interesting song. It's it's techno-y um, to me, um, or robotic in other words, maybe. Um, this song is about lying, how and how lying is just basically digging your own grave because if you lie, if you lie a lot, people are not going to believe when you're telling the truth. And you know, if you need help and you lie and you lie all the time, what, what are people going to believe? They're going to think you're a liar. So. It's basically about that, and the, the moral of the story, I would say, is just don't lie, because you're going to end up screwing yourself over. Um, for sure, very good song. All right. Overall, guys, I would give this album a just a solid, I would say, 4.8 4 out of 5. I was doing a decimal rating. Um, there's, there's a little bit to it. You know, it's not much, obviously, but I... It's a well-written album, a well-executed album for sure. Hard rock, classic Ozzy. Um, if you're an Ozzy fan, you're going to like it. If you're a Black Sabbath fan and you're into Ozzy, you're going to like it for sure. Um, hard rock, metal, any anything. I Just another solid Ozzy Osbourne album, and I hope he does more um, you know, albums. Obviously, he did Scream in 2010, and I'm um, probably going to review that later on. But... Um, you know, I just, I like the feel of this one in particular. This one has more meaning to me than Scream, even though I, I could call it 
of you know just the meaning behind it is more meaning to it and but both albums to me are perfect and I would definitely get it if you get the chance check them both out and uh, if you guys would please like like and subscribe to this channel um, I I do random videos you know and uh, so yeah um, thank you guys for watching have a nice have a nice I hope you guys had a nice holiday and uh, and uh, get to spend time with your family and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your support see you later.